Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I actually have a couple of products that I was going to do like a quick review on just to kind of see what you guys think. So I have that and then, you know, a regular Dollar Tree haul. And then sitting down, I just realized that I totally missed this whole entire event. Like I just must have checked out on Sunday. But I missed this whole thing. So none of this stuff is from Sunday. Um, I went Friday when I got out of work. So, and I didn't get a chance to do it on the weekend because I checked out. Um, so I missed it. So, whatever. Um, super hot on the East Coast. Super hot, muggy, sticky, disgusting. I am cranking the AC. Got my sweatshirt on because that's how I roll. I'm not happy until I'm in my house in the middle of summer with sweatpants and a sweatshirt on. So that's how I roll during the summer. Okay. So, first product. Um, I finally tried the Spongefuls. I bought so many of these. Um, so I tried this one, which is the Lavender. Alright, this is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Um, it says that you just need to, like, add water, like, wet it with water. And it'll lather up and you're good to go. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of lather happening. Like, I thought maybe there was really nothing on the sponge. Like, look, I wasn't looking for magic. Like, I didn't think I was going to wet it and, like, elves were going to jump out and, like, wash my back for me. But I was expecting soap to, <laughs> to come out of this. And, like, very little soap came out of it. Um, how are you going to get seven washes out of this? I don't know. Like, I feel like I barely got one. It's just not... And, I mean, maybe it's working like it's supposed to. But I like lots of soap. Like, I need to see that things are, are being clean. Um, and this just wasn't happening. Um, the sponge is kind of weird, too. It's not like a regular sponge. It's like a squeaky sponge is the only way I can think of it. Uh, it's like super squeaky and one side is completely smooth. And the other side has like some bumps in it, but it's smooth, too. So, I kind of do like the sponge because I use a regular sponge which I'm almost done with my bolero sponges that we got a while ago I stocked up on those uh, a regular sponge my hair gets in everything and my hair weaves its way into the sponge and it's disgusting so this being the squeaky sponge that it is my hair did not weave itself into the sponge and I kind of like that so it's not a total loss because I'm thinking I may just keep the sponge um and put my own body wash on it because I'm not feeling the body wash that's in there like I you can't smell anything like it's not it's supposed to be aromatherapy I didn't smell anything so I'm a little suspicious um I did buy the other kind the ones that look like a loofah so I will try those and give you an update but this I'm just in it for the squeaky sponge like that's all I'm in it for but let me know down below if you try these maybe I have a defective one wouldn't it be the first time so we got that. Okay. This, the Dove, the beauty cream. Oh my god. So I absolutely love this. I used it on my face at night. Oh my god. I love it. And here, I'll open this. I have this one open. So this is just like the blue ones, which is the hand cream that smells amazing. This doesn't really have like, it has like a soapy kind of clean smell to it. But it's the same thing. It's the little um, tub. So good. I love this. So I did, I think I bought maybe two. I'm definitely, if they have these, I'm definitely getting more because it a lot goes a long way. This is like super, super thick. So I love it. On to the next one <sighs> would be this. This is the Pure Silk, the Coconut Body Oil. <sighs> so it says right here that you can use it on your hair. Y'all know how I feel about putting oil in my hair. Like, I can't, I can't do it. I don't like it. Uh, it just makes my hair feel weird. Like, I tried it with the Bolero oil, and I was like, it, I don't know. But I had an idea, because when I braid my hair, I braid it wet at night, and then I sleep on it. And then I don't mess with it unless it starts to, like, come out and fray. So I thought if I put this in it, 
it to calm it down and then I can braid it up again and it'll stay you know it'll stay nice and tight this is so damn thick it smells amazing and it makes your hair really shiny but it makes it look super oily super oily so you cannot put this in your hair and then go out and rock the world because you will look like you have not washed your hair in like forever but you couldn't tell because I had it I had it braided so you couldn't see so it did work and I take it out to brush it and then rebraid it and it actually kept my hair from knotting up so there are some benefits uh, benefit one being you can't see how oily it looks when it's together but when it's loose it's awful like you it's real heavy but it works for me I just can't wear my hair down with it <laughs> So that's that. Let me know down below if you put, if you tried it anywhere. It says for skin. I don't know if I would put it on my skin because it feels so heavy. Um, these band-aids. I don't know if you guys remember when we hauled these band-aids. So I have one on right now because I almost took my finger off cleaning my ferret's cage. Um, they're assorted colors. The I started on one end and started working my way back because I did this yesterday. And I went through the black ones already and now I'm on the purple. But it has like a little thing that helps infection and because it's right in between my fingers it's not budging. I was able to wash my hands with it. It didn't um, slip off like and you can move your hand. I am loving these. You only got 20 and I haven't really looked to see if they still have these but I am definitely getting more of these because these are perfect for like, like paper cuts, finger cuts, anything like that. So there we go. Those are my product reviews. All right, so let's get popping on this haul before this video is five hours long. All right, the kid is in camp. I did buy some more snacks. I had to re-up because he's doing another week of the camp he's in. Um, so I bought the usual same snacks that I bought last week. I just rebought, And I bought hot dog rolls that expired the day that I bought them. Dollar Tree for the win. Um, so I grabbed these potato chips. I have never seen this brand in the small packages the home style select it's only five packs um but it's five packs for a dollar they're good until september 16th 2018 but like i said he is in camp so i'm going to put these in his lunch bag also i like potato chips so i will probably take some you already know what's coming right here bought them out because these are my favorite if i can get it together Pretty sure I got six of them. Pretty sure I got six. I guess we'll visit that when we get to it. Let's see. I got some more of these little tags that I use for my Poshmark stuff. You get 30 in here. I blow through those too. Uh, I got this cute little notebook. Um, it's like lined paper and I bought it, it says good vibes with the pineapple. I bought it because I had someone that purchased something or was trying to buy something on Poshmark and I, it just wouldn't go through. It was this big whole thing and I just felt really bad because the, it took way longer for the transaction to happen than it should have and any normal person probably would have bailed on the whole transaction but she didn't. She stayed strong. So I wanted to put this in her package as like a thank you and then I sent the package off and completely forgot that I even bought this so this will probably go in my book mail um because it's cute and then I finally found the journal um as you know I bought I have them right here actually the sticky notes and they didn't have the journal and now I was able to find the journal um, doesn't say how many pages it are, but it's so cool. It has the, the unicorn. Um, I did take some pictures. I don't know how many. Um, so stay till the end because if it's not a lot of pictures, then I'll just save them, um, for the next video. <sighs> then I finally found this. I am so excited. So this is the Awkward Family Postcards. And these are like the Awkward Family Photos but they're in postcards and I have been dying for this. I saw 
I think it was Jenny Mullen that, um, that hauled this originally. Like a while ago, I saw her haul it and I was like, oh my god, I need that in my life. Um, not just because they're postcards and we do like postcards for, for book mail, but these are just like my favorite things because like <laughs> they're just so funny. So for a dollar, I am super excited. Um, I don't know what the price was. It looks like it was behind the sticker, but I literally can't wait to just sit down and look at this and, and just laugh. Um, also super excited about these, um, Swanson's homemade suit maker. I've never seen these before. Um, so it gives you like the basis, like the basis, the base of the soup. So loaded potato, um, and then you add bacon, potato, and heavy cream, and chicken broth. Cooks in about 30 minutes, makes eight cups of soup. So I figured that would be good to try. Honestly, it's good until February of 2019. So this will be good for like when winter comes. Obviously, I'm not putting pig in it. Um, unless just my son is going to eat it, then I will. Otherwise, I'll put some type of turkey or fake bacon in there, which I'm sure he'll love. And then I grabbed, I should have grabbed more of the chicken. The, another homemade soup maker. This is the chicken noodle. Um, same thing, eight cups. So this one, you add the chicken. You add diced carrots and chicken broth. So that's actually really simple. Um, that's really simple to do. So I'm really excited about this. Swanson with the suit. Then they had somewhere in there. I think I have it. I am so excited. Um, they have the El Paso. They had a whole bunch of El Paso and they had Ortega. Um, but I grabbed these, the El Paso. It says for burritos. You know damn well I'm putting cheese in between these and putting them in the microwave because that's what I do. Um, these are super soft. Uh, it says better if used by February 25th, 2019. So these last for a really long time. Like it's only July. Um, I probably should have got more if I realized they last until February. But you get eight flour tortillas. And you know in the store these are probably like maybe four dollars or more. I usually don't buy um I usually don't buy that brand. Let me see. I don't know if I put let me just do these because these are sticking out. Absolutely love these. These are always a repurchase. Um they don't have them all the time, which I wish they did. This is the Miss Claudia's bakery. And this also is, let's say, August 26th, 2018. So you get six of them and they stay just like this. And then you put them in the oven and you have um, French rolls, which are so good. So I got to uh, actually bring these to my parents because most nights um, I eat dinner at their house. So... These are really good to have with like pasta. So I'm gonna bring those to them. And then I have some new chips. Not even chips, is it chips? It's chips. So this is cassava pops. And this is sea salt, gluten free. And there's a whole bunch of stuff happening here. No, like me dropping them. Um, no gluten, no GMO, no animal, because they're vegan. I'm not vegan, but I try to do as much as I can to stay away from animals. Um, no junk and no trans fat. So this is like, these are good. These are good. Hopefully they taste good. Um, these are Air Pop chips, and it's three ounces. So that's just a regular sea salt. And then I got super excited when I saw these. These are Hawaiian Luau Barbecue, which are also some of my favorite chips. Um, same thing here. Three ounces. It's got the same business happening there. I don't know what it says. Wailana? I think it says Wailana. 
Um, and it says May 30th of 2019. It's like almost a year away that these are good for. These will not last a year in my house. I will be eating them probably by this weekend. This is the Ortega stuff, I think. So I grabbed two of these because what a freaking great deal. So these are the yellow corn and ancient greens. These are the good greens. So I feel like it's probably going to taste a little bit different than a regular taco shell. Um, but you get 10 shells for a dollar. Um, I don't know why they ended up in the dollar store. But um, they have a bunch of different ones. All I saw, I think, was the same brand. I mean, the same, um, do you say flavor? The same, I don't even know what to call it. Um, the same chip. Um, I don't even see a date on these. Probably not a good thing. I don't know. I'll look for it. But, so I grabbed two of those also to bring to my parents' house since most of the time we eat there. Let me see. What do we got? Oh, here's the rest of the cards that I bought them out. Um, then I just had a craving. Um, I don't know why. I just wanted some animal crackers. This is a lot, 10% more. This is the, the, is it Stouffer's? Stouffer's? I don't know. It's 12.1 um, ounces. I freaking love animal crackers and these are actually really good. Not the frosted ones. I don't like the frosted ones, but I like these. So I kind of just grabbed these to have something to snack on. Are they good for you? Probably not. Do I care? Absolutely not. Um, February 3rd, 2019. Wow. Maybe February is closer than, than I think it is. February is my birthday, so maybe it is creeping up. Um, more cards. <laughs> I know when they go to, like, reorder, they're probably like, what is going on with these cards? Because I keep buying them out. Um, then I grabbed my son this regular show book because summer reading and he handed it right back to me with an awesome look on his face. So that didn't go out the way that I planned, but, and then I grabbed this. This feels like it has a lot of, oh, 80 pages, which is better than the 60 that we've been getting, but this one just says magical and I like it because it has the, like this cool like cover. So this is like. The regular cover and then you shut it and it says magical I thought it was pretty cool and it's just regular pages do I need another notebook no can I find a notebook when I need one never in my house never always writing on scratch paper because I can never find my notebooks so then these I had never seen before but I thought they were super cute because I'm a five-year-old um, 96 stickers and they are the, um, emojis. Um, I'm guessing that's a sloth, which is super exciting. Um, and then it has the unicorn, the taco, the hamburger. Um, I don't know. I just thought they were cute. Maybe to add to, like, friend mail or put them on the back of the thank you cards. That might be super obnoxious for Poshmark, but I just think they're cute. Maybe the present. That would be kind of cute to put on there. So I really like those. And then I grabbed these Gel Comfort insoles. Because uh, I have my um, Reebok Classics that have like zero cushion in them whatsoever. Uh, and I don't know. It just... My knees aren't as good as they used to be. Nothing is as good as it used to be. So I thought maybe these would help a little bit. So I'll give these a try. I don't know. I've never tried those before, I don't think. Then I'm super excited because uh, I think I found them all. The Aroma Therapy. I am so excited. So this is Aroma Guru, it's called. Um, so I have a couple different ones going on here and I bought a whole bunch of everything because I'm going to obviously share with my mom because she likes stuff like this too. Okay, so this is the one that's in, um, a pump, ready to use pump. Okay, 
So this is the lavender, which um, lavender helps promote a restful sleep. Um, it's 100% pure and natural essential oil. So it's great for massage, all natural moisturizer, aromatherapy. So you can do a little bit of everything with it. Helps, I don't know if it's gonna be able to focus for you to see that, um, but this is really good. I'm excited about this. So I grabbed um, that in the pump and then the roll-on. I am super excited about the roll-on one. It's the same thing, ready to use roll-on, Aroma Guru Lavender. Um, you literally just roll it right onto your skin. So I am very excited about that. Grabbed a bunch of those. Then I just bought this one on a whim. Um, this was the tea tree oil, I think. Oh, sweet almond oil. Oh, I didn't even realize I grabbed this. What is in it? All right, so this one also says for relax. So maybe I need to take this one to work when I start to get all hyped up and I can just like spray this. <laughs> Um, so I did. I grabbed the pump on that one. And was it there? Was there another one? There was not. Okay. Then I grabbed, so I grabbed the lavender roll-on. And, oh, this one was tea tray. Um, this one too, though, says sweet almond oil and tea tree essential oil. This is also the roll-on, so I don't know. I don't know, I just thought that would be. Tones and balances skin, helps soothe irritated skin, helps balance oily hair, helps release tension, helps fight body odor. Insect repellent. I am down for the insect repellent. I might put that on my kid since he's out at the the outside camp with all the wonderful bugs and then peppermint super excited about the peppermint um this is i don't know if you can even see it so this is the same thing it's a natural vapor rub helps heal itchy skin soothes tired feet awakens mood helps ease headaches and helps increase focus so now when it says helps increase headaches that's what i think about when I think of peppermint is that it helps um, get rid of a headache. And I tried to look for it, but I don't know what the hell I did with it. When I switched my my um, my bag out, I must have taken it out. But it looks kind of like this. It's in a tin like this. And I got it from Cracker Barrel. And it has like a peppermint um, ointment in it. And when you get a headache, you just take it and then you like rub it on your temples and I freaking live by it. Does it work? Who knows? Cause I usually pile that on with like a half a bottle of aspirin, but, um, I don't know. Like I, you can smell it and it's like relaxing. So I'm super excited. Um, this is the one I really wanted was the peppermint and then obviously the lavender because I wanted to. Honestly, I thought I can spray my pillowcase with it, but then I realized it's in, probably an oil, so that may not be the smartest thing, but I don't know. I just get really excited about stuff like this, which makes no sense, but let me live. So, super excited about those. I can't wait to try them out, and then I will definitely, I will definitely let you know um, how I'm feeling about it. But yeah, that was all I had for... Dollar Tree haul. It was super small, but it had a lot of new stuff in it that, like, I wasn't expecting to find for, like, a really long time. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check the description box. I will leave all sorts of coupon codes for you, and my Poshmark closet will be down there if you want to go check it out and see what's happening over there. Um, thank you so, so much for watching, for hanging out with me, and until the next one, 